In this session, we are going to look at index function. Also, we are going to learn how we can use index function along with match function. Index function helps to get the result based on the row and column number. So in case if you have a data out of the selected data, so you can pull the information using row and the column number. Let's look at the data. So here is my data where I have a list of products and also have month wise sales also have sales at product level. So now here what I want is I want to know for mobile May month what is the sales. So let's choose mobile and May month. So I want to know what is my sales for the highlighted item equal index. So first is array. So array is nothing but range. Let me select the whole data. Freeze it pressing F4. And then and the first reference is row number. Let's look at the row number. For mobile uh, the row number is 3. So row number is 3 comma and the column number may. So for me, uh, the column number is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's 6. 6. Close the bracket. So now you got the result. So it is 17597. So row number is 3. Column number 7. Sorry, 6. 17579. 597. Okay, so now let's look at match function equal match. Match generally helps to get the position of the criteria. So now here I have uh, let's take uh, uh, monitor or okay monitor. So I want to know out of the selected data one user comes in which place. To check that you can use match. So match will help to get the monitor placed in which place. So first is lookup value is my monitor. Choose that and lookup range. Select the data. This is my lookup data. Comma zero. So now you can see the result. It's three out of selected item. So I choose from column uh, A2 to A7. So A2, 1, 2, 3. So monitor comes in third place. Okay. So basing, uh, using uh, uh, match. So I am going to uh, uh, teach you how you can combine both uh, index and match. But in this case, what we have done is, so we manually choose row number and column number. Okay. So instead of this, so I am going to get this two number automatically using match function. So now in this case, I have monitor and I have July. So I want what is the value for monitor in July. To get that, let's use index. Index. So let's select the uh, <coughs> data. So I'll select only data. I'm not going to select the header. Uh, let's choose only this. Okay. Freeze it, comma. And then first I want uh, monitor so that is first always you should choose row so row comes in the monitor comes in the row so to get row number I'll use match let me choose monitor is my lookup value comma lookup array is the product freeze it comma zero so this will give my row number comma now I need column number so let me choose match again match my lookup value is uh, May, sorry, July. So here you cannot see clearly. Okay. Let me check whether I can drag this. So I cannot drag. So July, comma, my lookup array is the month. I'll select Jan to December. Comma, let me freeze it. Comma, zero to close bracket enter so now you got 10171 monitor 
and for July month let's to check monitors this is a monitor for July month 10171 okay so you can also use uh, data validation to get the same result so let me do this okay so here so what I'm going to do is so here let me copy paste the same formula copy paste okay I'll freeze it I will not freeze properly okay so now instead of uh, uh, having manual value let me use data validation and pick the value delete so go to data and then go to data validation choose list and then equal select the products okay so now you you can see the small drop down so you can see you can choose whatever you want okay let me choose monitor and then month month also delete go to data validation data and then go to validation and then data validation so here choose list and choose month select the source data choose month okay so now here I will get month okay so now formula so what I'm going to do is again I will use the same formula using this index so let me choose the data I'm going to choose only data freeze it comma my row number match my lookup values monitor my lookup values monitor and February so select the data comma match monitor comma zero for exact match comma for column number again match let me choose the month comma and then let me choose the month range comma zero so now I got the result so when I change the value here so March month monitor March month 9793 to check monitor March month sorry April month 9793 and we can also change the product smart TV June 58111 smart TV June 5811 but this is the one way there is other way also let me teach that as well okay go to developer insert choose the objects the second box combo box okay so let me drag okay so right click format control so here you have to give the input range so input range I'll give product cell link so whenever I choose the value in the drop down where it should save because this is not something uh, 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 Excel validation uh, drop down this is the object so we have to choose cell to save this number so let me choose this cell okay so I kept the cell back of this drop down list okay I will keep uh, let me keep it it's 18 okay okay so now if I choose value so you will get the number for mobile number 2 for monitor number 3 for tablet it's the last number number 6 same thing I am going to do for month also so again I am doing copy paste so now I need month in this drop down to get that so let me take the month so now uh, I manually choose right you can also using define name you can do it okay so uh, let me have the month here month copy paste 
using transpose so let me use transpose values okay so now let me select this to define name control shift 3 so the name should be top row okay so now I have defined this particular range as name so you can see here if you choose month the range will get selected automatically so either you can manually choose the link or you can also if you already define the name you can give that name so now I'll delete this so instead of this range I'm going to give month so month is nothing but the name which I define for each month so where it should save so it should save here second cell okay so now a yeah, order month I choose August 8 June 6 January 1 so whatever month I choose I get the result okay so let me hide the number and keep this table okay. let me put the formula then we'll hide it okay now the result I want is based on this equal index number so this will be very easy compared to others so select the data okay so now row number what is my row number my row number is tablet this is my row number comma my column number this is my month close bracket that's it 16854 so tablet january 16854 so what you can do is you can select this both you can hide the numbers okay so I can move the formula also on cell below okay so whenever you change this the value will also change so let me choose mobile April so I'll get the value for mobile and April so to check mobile April 17208 mobile April 17208 so you want to check PC December 13859 PC December 13859 matching so we have seen uh, various scenarios so generally index and match function will be used for uh, many scenarios so if you have to think so then only you can use it in a different way hope you understood thanks for watching this video we will see you in another video bye bye